welcome students let us see a very interesting and important question from the chapter mathematical induction here question is prove by the principle of mathematical induction for all n belonging to the set of natural numbers 1 into 2 plus 2 into 3 plus 3 into 4 plus up to n into n plus 1 here total number of terms is n this is equal to n into n plus 1 into n plus 2 divided by 3 so very interesting question let us see the solution here. Here this is the given mathematical statement okay? and mathematical statement is denoted by the notation p n. So, here p n is 1 into 2 plus 2 into 3 plus 3 into 4 up to n into n plus 1 this is equal to n into n plus 1 into n plus 2 this is divided by 3. Let us call it relation number 1. Now, first step we will show that this statement is true for n is equal to 1. Means, we have to show that we have to show that p 1 is true. Okay? We have to show that p 1 is true and for this we will put n is equal to 1 in relation number 1. So, we will get here total number of if you put n is equal to 1 then total number of terms will be 1 okay because in pn total number of terms is n so in p1 total number of term will be 1 so here p1 becomes 1 into 2 and in right hand side also we will put n is equal to 1 so this is 1 into 2 into 3 putting n is equal to 1 here. So, by 3, 3 will be cancelled out or we are getting 2 is equal to 2. So, here LHS is equal to RHS. So, therefore, P 1 is true. Therefore, P 1 is true. Now, second step, we will assume that P R is true. Here second step, we will be assuming that P R is true. That is in place of N, we have to put R and this statement will be true that we are assuming that we are supposing. So, here 1 into 2 plus 2 into 3 plus 3 into 4 up to r into r plus 1 this is equal to r into r plus 1 into r plus 2 divided by 3. Let us call it relation number 2. So, this is the second step and third step you will show that p r plus 1 is true. Okay? Means, we have to put n is equal to r plus 1 and we will show that this relation will exist that is true. So, now we have to show that p r plus 1 is true and for this we will put n is equal to r plus 1 in relation number 1. So, therefore, putting n is equal to r plus 1 in relation number 1. So, we will get here p r plus 1 this will become 1 into 2 plus 2 into 3 plus 3 into 4 plus r into r plus 1 plus here n is r next term will be n is r plus 1. So, this is r plus 1 into r plus 2 and this is equal to here also we will put n is equal to r plus 1. So, this is r plus 1 this will be r plus 2 that will be r plus 3. So, here r plus 1 r plus 2 and r plus 3 divided by 3. We have to prove it, we have to establish it okay? and we will start here with left hand side LHS and we will come to RHS. Then we will be able to show that LHS is equal to RHS. Okay? So, up to this part, up to this part you see in relation number 2 this much part is equal to r into r plus 1 into r plus 2 by 3. So, for this much we will write here 
r into r plus 1 into r plus 2 divided by 3 and the next term this last term is r plus 1 into r plus 2 ok and this is equal to you see here r plus 1 and r plus 2 is common in both the terms. So, let us take here r plus 1 and r plus 2 common. So, from the first term uh, r by 3 is remaining here. So, this is r by 3 and from the second term only 1 will be remaining here 1. So, this is equal to r plus 1 into r plus 2 into LCM will be 3. So, r plus 3 divided by 3. This is r plus 3 divided by 3. Correct? So, you see we are getting here right hand side r plus 1, r plus 2, r plus 3 divided by 3. This is right hand side. So, we are getting here LHS is equal to RHS. LHS is equal to RHS. So, it has been established, it has been proved that P R plus 1 is true. So, only three steps are here. First step we have to show that P 1 is true. Second step we assume that P R is true and third step we prove that P R plus 1 is true. And after doing this much, simply we need to write only one line statement that uh, by the principle of mathematical induction this statement is true for all n then our solution will be over ok. So, the statement P n is true for all n by principle of mathematical induction. So, by the principle of by the principle of mathematical induction P n is true for all n. So, we got the result here, we have proved it. So, our solution is complete here, ok, fine, very interesting solution, hope you have understood it very well and we have to see some more problems, we will deal with so many problems from this topic in other videos, videos to come, ok, thank you very much. Thank you.